Oi, oi, oi. So this is recorded right after the last video. And last episode of me talking about Outriders and its franchise's future. We're gonna talk more so about space exploration with ships like these. Probably a little bit smaller. We gotta fit a Normandy or a Tempest in there. And actually explore this base in Outriders. I feel like this game can set up something cool. Something like Mass Effect. More Centrometer. Where you're setting up space travel and exploring different planets in this solar system. And the game is loud. Which means maybe in an Outriders 3 I don't feel like they are evolving that quickly from finding out all about the anomaly to being capable of going back to space but unlike Mass Effect I feel like they should more so dive deeper into the side of the well the second ship landing that landed before the first one so, god damn it, just let me sound effect. It's already the one, god damn it. That's weird. This just felt loud. More so like an exploration option where you can decide when you come to a new planet with a new species like the Pax if you wanna support them or exploit them so this is a very far-fetched thinking situation right now with me saying Outriders 2 could be more about setting up space exploration as a whole while they still need to figure out the trials of the Ayakrata situation right now I'm down here baby I'm down here, yes, good job. We could in the future go into a way bigger direction than just a shooter and actually go into the direction of doing something different but something they've already written and done pretty much and that is show the human race at what they probably would be if they would be the stronger race to explore new planets and that is a slave data intelligent life form and make themselves kings and gods like history has also shown previously with uh, Spain and Portuguese people exploring america and africa while being the more, more advanced species it's not a secret that not very far-fetched that the more advanced species is bound to enslave the weaker species and that even with the same race they could set up something cool with doing that and portraying that just like they have with the main campaign almost and the Wanderer side quest where you can choose if you want to be the renegade person to bring the badness out of humanity or the good guy I shot a thumbnail right here a few episodes back that I'm gonna use for this video. Like right here we have exactly that ship in the background 
that the first humans made contact with on that planet that we all know how that ha ended up them being the more technically advanced species enslaving the packs which nowadays is almost a taboo tema a taboo topic that you can't dive into but I feel like for a sci-fi game that is good writing and a good story to portray and especially since they already written and talked about that and it's in a r realistic topic If we would be the stronger race who dives deep into space, wouldn't we explore other races and places? Like, for example, they do in Lost Planet. We definitely would take resources of other planets for our own good. That's a no-brainer. We gonna need those resources. Oof, did that. Right, there's nothing wrong with being the stronger race. I'm exploring the weakness of other. Also, in the last episode, I felt like I had some audio problems again. Most likely, one of my compressors not working, and my limit are not quite pulling. I don't know why those things still happen from time to time. Probably because I switch microphone, the microphone in the background is for recording vocals in my other room. Recording rap and sing vocals. Rap and ringing vocals. Yeah, my ammo doesn't run out. Everything that I've on right here. Ah, oh, god damn you. Let me charge. Yes. Perfect. Almost perfect. Could have been better. Ah, oh, god damn you bastard. Woo! Interesting. I definitely enjoy games where you can also be the bad guy. And like I said, a lot of new games and how society evolves it's not okay to uh, portray even the bad guys even though we all feel like there's enough greed and people like that existing anyways oh i actually ran out of ammo Perfect. No, it's slow trapped. This gun combination is so strong. I feel like in real life, everybody. And a lot of people try to be the good guys. It's just a mental thing that we all try to tell ourselves and that we need to be, that we need to be the heroes and everybody is the bad guy. But it feels like it brings a lot of entertainment and excitement to explore those options in video games. That's why games like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas are that cool to play. Because you actually can be the bad guy. Probably also a reason why Mass Effect, the trilogy, especially part 2 with the good renegade options was that big of a success. Well, Mass Effect Andromeda, you aren't really the bad guy. You have four options and you are more limited with those four options than renegade and paragon. 
It's do I want to be slightly sarcastic? Do I want to be slightly more sarcastic? It's literally like that. I'm not even joking. Uh, there's a pod here. Damn thing crashed into the pipes. Those pumps might clear up the flood. You have the lower versions, which are exactly what I said. Slightly more and slightly less sarcastic feeling, which pretty much always feel the same. You have the left top one, which is supposed to be emotional. And the right top one, which is supposed to be professional. And I probably have said that before, if I would be writing a Mass Effect game, I would involve three strong options. Renegade Badass. Paragon Emotional. And Good. And Ice Cold Military Professional. Then you would have the options or the flirting romance options to choose between people. Let's say Miranda is the military professional who would be attracted to military professionals. You have Liara attracted to the emotional paragon option. And you would have Jack from Mass Effect 2 attracted to the badassery of the Renegade 1. And the slightly evil tap and great. And I feel like that would be a good free set of options to give a lot of replayability. With Outriders. You are always the badass, which I quite like. You don't often feel like a badass god in a lot of video games. The German word to describe. Ryder, that's his name, would be Milch Booby, which would be milk boy milk drinker instead of bio vodka drinker and that sums it up better uh, good shoes person <laughs> johnny good shoes i don't know I especially like the voice actor of this dude right here. That's one of the most badass voices I've heard in video games. With great delivery. And they have written pretty cool characters with Jacob and Jacob. And Jakub. And the Wanderer. Just not Diego. Thiago. <laughs> Alexa Hidi too. He would be a perfect redditor for this community. Saeed is the embodiment of the Reddit community of this game. I uh, of course mean that in the nicest way possible. Yo! Well, I'm getting distracted too much. So basically, a good story point would be to find a way 
to calm and deal with the storm or they're forced to escape this planet with one of the ships and build them a new society on distant planets somewhere in the solar system the Milchstraße where they are right now to make a way and therefore see new planets and the best way to go about this is actually also find a new human race that would be a good starting point so they actually can have crews of people ready people ready to put in your crew it's not that far-fetched to think that alien forms could be pretty much just humans looking pretty much the same with not much difference or like other games would have said it humanoids the packs are humanoids too pretty much They're like the Salarians, just with more space powers. And I'm pretty sure if they would have trigger figure 6 and boobs, we would have probably seen that as God, them as gods, the packs. But everybody in this game has the same body type. Females. Not the text though, they're even more skinny and weird looking. I feel like I would be one of the bad guys <laughs> while talking about this. But uh I definitely haven't heard anything about Mass Effect, uh, Mass Effect Outriders 2 being in the works. So I don't feel like we should get our hopes up. One more boss. Yeah. That anything soon will happen. Um, the way it seems like they probably don't quite know what they want to do next. I don't think they're gonna patch the game more. I don't think they're gonna give a new horizon update. They're even gonna give an endgame DLC. Or they're gonna try to go into the direction of Outriders 2. But the game gets compared or did get compared a lot to a love job between Destiny and Mass Effect and the most important thing I feel like it nails the Mass Effect sites more than the Destiny sites and therefore I feel like they should dare explore the Mass Effect sites more to make some mistakes with the endless farming I don't think that a lot of people would say that Wood Slayer was a success, especially with Taya Krada being that boring. Yeah, thought badly. So um, they might just want to go. All right, Zahidi. I found one of our pods. And as a bonus, we can all start bathing again. 
Excellent. That water's gonna be a lifesaver, Outrider. I'll be sure to bring people the good news. They might just wanna go the Mass Effect 3 version direction where they have a separated multiplayer and campaign that's not that heavily integrated where you can make your own multiplayer characters and farm in expeditions in horde modes the thing people want that would be nice just hire me already outriders So I can fly. I can be one of the people who can fly. Oh, uh, I don't know. The thing I've said, what I feel like is going to happen is them making an endgame DLC where they just gonna make four more expeditions and one more trial and call it a day. Till the next game arrives and I'm getting shh sh again oh, even if it looks good it's not APOC it's not APOC mm. let's see if they have another short one for me Colosseum that's always the same it's always the same that's not really one short yeah yeah yeah, I'm kind of more so pissed that the game doesn't give me any good loot. So I'm probably gonna have to play the trials again and see if that actually is rewarding enough. In its own right, let people join, make it easier on myself and play some trials in the future. Also, also, I wanna do a supply random legendary opening. Which right now I can afford like 12 random legendary drops. So that's a thing I'm farming for. So that means I'm not allowed to upgrade anything. Yeah, I think like, I feel like they nailed the story pretty greatly. The story was pretty cool especially the base game with the characters woods there was okay i feel like it was a little bit too short and rushed and they could have done more with it and i definitely want to see more outrider story and less of the thing that i'm predicting and that's more end game with too little end game involved i want a cool epic space mood epic space epic <laughs> an epic space odyssey like mass effect there ain't too much Ugh. there ain't too many games like that okay okay i can't talk anymore i should go to sleep and peace out oh yeah i put my face cam off Burp. oh fuck my limiter didn't work right there why do I have so many audio problems? I put the mic extra far away too. Like extra far. And I feel like it did not solve anything. Limiter test. Nope. God damn it. Didn't work. <gasps> Peace out.